we need to find the value of the square root of 64 squared plus 49 squared plus 15 to the power of 4 all over 2. The first thing to notice about our expression is that we've got 64, which is 8 squared, 49, 7 squared, and 15 is 8 plus 7. So let's split these up. If 64 is 8 squared, then 64 squared is going to be 8 to the power of 4, just multiplying those powers together. Likewise, 49 squared becomes 7 to the power of 4, and we've just split the 15 up into 8 plus 7. We can expand this bracket by using the binomial theorem. So we would have 8 plus 7 to the power of 4. First term is going to be the 8 to the power of 4. The next one will be 4. Choose 1, which is 4, times by 8 cubed times by 7. Then 4 choose 2, which is 6, times 8 squared times 7 squared. 4 times 8 times 7 cubed. And finally, 7 to the power of 4. So if we substitute this into our expression so far, we're going to get another 8 to the 4 and another 7 to the 4 there. So we're going to have two lots of 8 to the power of 4 plus 7 to the power of 4 plus the rest of our expansion. And it's still all over 2. All of those terms on the top are multiplied by even numbers. So we can divide 3 by the 2 to cancel out the fraction. So we're left with the square root of 8 to the 4 plus 7 to the 4 plus 2 times 8 cubed times 7, plus 3 times 8 squared times 7 squared, plus 2 times 8 times 7 cubed. We now want to try and reduce those powers at the front there, those powers of 4. We can see that if we were to compare this to the square of 8 squared plus 7 squared, we would get an 8 to the 4 and a 7 to the 4 out of that, as well as a 2 times 8 squared times 7 squared. So we can replace our 8 to the 4 plus 7 to the 4 with the square of 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 8 squared times 7 squared. Now if we do that, those 2 8 squared times 7 squared will cancel out part of the 3 times 8 squared plus 7 squared. So we'll end up with the square of 8 squared plus 7 squared plus 2 times 8 cubed times 7 plus just the 1 8 squared times 7 squared plus 2 times 8 times 7 cubed. Now, if we look at the second and fourth terms, these have both got 2, 8 and 7 as factors. So let's factorise those out. So the second and fourth terms now become 2 times 8 times 7 times by brackets 8 squared for the second term, 7 squared for the fourth term. I'm now going to look at our 8 squared times 7 squared. I'm just going to convert that into 8 times 7 all squared. We can now see that both the first term and the third term contain 8 squared plus 7 squared, and the second term and the third term both contain 8 times 7. So we've got an expression here of the form a squared plus b squared plus 2 lots of ab, which is just equal to the square of a plus b. So we can convert this now using our 8 squared plus 7 squared as a and our 8 times 7 as b. We'll end up with the square root of 8 squared plus 7 squared plus 8 times 7 all squared. But the square root and the square will cancel out. We can now do our squaring and multiplication. We end up with 64 plus 49 plus 56, giving us a final answer of 169. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.